Hi, in this video I'd like to show you an example of implementation of RPC over HTTP using Lighty IO API for SDN applications developed by Pantheon Technologies. I'll show you also a way of manual testing of the RPCs over HTTP using utility called Postman. Lighty IO is aimed at applications using Yang modeling language for modeling of data and RPCs. Since Lighty IO is based on Open Daylight components, it uses Open Daylight Yang tools to generate Java code from Yang data models. For this purpose, Open Daylight provides Maven plugin, which is used also in our example, as you can see here in this POM file. The Maven plugin generates a Java code from Yang files located in a Yang directory of the Maven module. This is a simple Yang module with definition of RPC and its input and output objects. The Java code is generated into target, generated sources, and the cell binding directory. For our Yang model, there are interfaces for input and output together with builder classes. Next important interface is the service interface, which defines RPC as a method. Here is an implementation of the interface, which just computes a sum of input operands. The result is set in the output object, which is returned as future. This implementation is used by the HTTP server. The HTTP server implements handler method called service, which expects RPC input data in the received HTTP request. When a request including some payload is received, the data codec object is created and is used to deserialize the payload into the input object of the RPC. This example expects that the payload includes data serialized in JSON, but XML is also supported by Lighty.io. RPC is then invoked with the input object passed as a parameter of the implementing method. If the RPC invocation was successful, return value of the method includes output object. The output is then serialized to JSON, which is written into HTTP response. When the example is started, it prints a port number which the HTTP server is listening to. As you can see, port number 8080 is used. For the testing of the RPC, we will use a graphical application called Postman. Postman allows you to fill the specific parts of the HTTP request. Here you can see a post method is used, destination URL of our HTTP server, headers and body with input JSON string. Now I can use a send button and the HTTP request is sent to the HTTP server. RPC is invoked and the HTTP Reply has set an output with the value of sum. Postman allows you to write also JavaScript test for each request. Here you can see that we are testing a value of output.sum item and the test has passed. Postman has also an interesting feature called the runner, which allows you to automatically send all requests from one collection and to execute specified tests for each received response. To do this, you need to click on the runner button and choose the respective collection from the list and then click run. Results are then displayed for each test together with a summary of the run. Thanks for watching. Bye.